morning, Democrats. Good morning. Good morning, Democrats. Good morning. Good morning. I humbly rise with the chairs, the caucus. As we join in the 100 cities plus that will be witness today for Trayvon Martin. Like many Californians and Americans of good conscience, I was deeply sad dismayed and profoundly disappointed at the news of our judicial system that failed to deliver justice to the family of Trayvon Martin. Trayvon was only 17 and walking home unarmed when he was approached and eventually shot by George Zimmerman, a neighborhood watch captain. Whatever your views, we all should agree that no child should leave their home safely and not return the same way. Let's make it clear, this was an injustice. An injustice that no mother, no parent should have to suffer through. But this injustice has opened some dialogue in our communities across the nation. And more dialogue will need to take place before the wounds begin to heal. But we must do more than just engage in the necessary dialogue. There are laws in the books in states like Florida and others that simply put, make this tragedy far more likely to happen again. I stand here and say that violence in response to the ruling is not the answer and will not prevent further tragedies of this kind. What we must do if we are to have a collective effort, is take our goals and keep these tragedies from happening in the future by challenging those laws, challenging those inconsistencies in America that breed injustice. As we stand here today, this is a small token of what is happening across the country. So I would like for you, all that are in support, all that believe that injustice should not be in America, to please rise with me right now as we take a moment of silence for Trayvon Martin and the Martin family. <laughs> 